Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. At the end of the last video, we just did the final quest on the Group Iron Man Defender of Rock, and we both got the quest cape. Wait, can you put your quest cape on real quick? Yeah. And we both got our quest capes. As of the time of recording this, Varlamore comes out in six days. So whatever ends up happening in this video is going to be about the next week of progress. I have an idea of something to do. Uh, right now, Spook Dog is still working towards maxing. You could see she was kind of training Fletching while we were questing. So looking at the collection log, I'm getting close to 3,000 Zora. So what if for the next week or so until Varlamore comes out, I try to get as much Zora Casey as possible to try and get one of these three items that I don't already have. At the very least, I'll be able to say I reached the 3k Casey milestone. Okay, well, I'm going to go then and do Zora. Okay, see ya. Have fun maxing. See ya. See ya. It sounds like we're ending a moist critical video. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Is he saying see ya or so yeah? I think it's both, isn't it? Like he says so yeah, then he says see ya. I don't know. I don't think I've really seen his video. Wow. Fake fan. <laughs> Even though you never claimed to be a fan, but <laughs> I'm getting pretty close to 700 million total XP too. I wonder if I'll get that this video. I'm not really trying to push for total XP at the moment, but once Spook Dog maxes and we're both the max duo GIM team, then I'm really going to focus a lot more on the total XP to try and push for ranks. It doesn't help either that pretty much all my AFK slash idle time has been spent doing trouble brewing and you don't get any XP at all, or at least not with the method that I'm doing. Uh, I am getting close to 30k pieces of 8. I have to get to 40k for the whole collection log. One more thing to show before we get started is the current stack of Zora scales, 57k. Well, I'm going to charge up the Serp Helm. So really, the stack is at 53k. Starting off at 2,964kc, let's see how far we get in the next week. Theoretically, it could be done in 3 kills, or even 2 kills, because you get the pet. Can you get all 3 on the same kill, potentially? I feel like that's possible. Right, I'm only ever one kill away from being done with Zora. First kill of the video, do we finish Zora and not even have to do anything? I could trim the diary cape again since we got the quest cape back. Can I use the music cape now? Wait, where's my music cape at? I don't know if I got all the music tracks. Let's see. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's all the music tracks. Oh, this is the one. The big 3000 Zora KC. The loot tracker is four off. So I'll wait till I get to 3,000 KC on the loot tracker and four more kills, then we'll look at it. There we go. I'm at 3,004 KC, but that is 3,000 in the loot tracker. So if you want to do the math for any of these, you could just divide the number by 3,000 to get the average number per kill. For the seeds, I'll hover over these so you can see what each of them are. And then the collection log for Zora. Here's what we got. I guess I just showed it not too long ago, so it hasn't changed. Every time I think about the Tan Sphinx, how dry I went to my hardcore, it was like 2,300 KC for my Tan Sphinx. On the UYM, I think it was like over 1,200. But on this account, it's funny, the RNG for the Tan Sphinx is more than balanced out from the other accounts. Brim Stale or Brim's Tail? These are the questions that keep me up at night. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. I can't believe these were like at the perfect right level to do that. That's insane. No way. It's the Spookmeister. I don't know how many times I've said that as a joke about Spook Dog, and then to like randomly see the Spookmeister right here. That is insane. So if I'm standing on this side, I can just click the second one. No way, is it doing it? Oh. Oh, no way! Oh, Whoa. what? If there's three things I'm good at, it's ruining jokes and counting. A really tough crowd today. Hey, this isn't Zora. I was playing on mobile for a few hours today and I was thieving master farmers. I gained about 200k thieving XP and I got 40 Ranner seeds. And some other fun seeds too. Okay, now back to Zora. I 
got a virtual crafting lot. I must have gotten it on mobile because I was doing birdhouse runs on mobile. For the longest time, I've been less than 1% away. And of course, the one day I was playing on mobile, I missed the virtual crafting level. But yeah, there you go. It was uh, virtual 100. And there's 3100 Zora Casey. Oh, hey, we got the first Serp or the first uh, unique. Oh, don't leave. The first unique of the video, the Serp Visage. My last Zora unique was 2874 KC, so it has been 263 kills since the last one. That'll be perfect to go with the mutagen that I'm going to get someday. This is actually the perfect amount of Serp Visages because I have my regular Snot Helm and now I have two extras for one of each of the mutagens and Spook Dog has her own one single Serp Helm because I got four in total. I'm sure I'll get more before getting both mutagens though, so it doesn't matter. And of course, if slash when Spook Dog ever does Zora, then most likely she would get multiple services before getting one or both mutagens. Well, I was supposed to record the clip, but I hit 3200 KC last KC. I was taking a look at the unofficial GIM high scores on Temple OSRS, and so this is for duo GIMs as individual players. I'm ranked two. For KC, I haven't refreshed this, but you know, I, I just hit 3.2k KC. I could get to rank one individual duo GIM eventually, maybe even this video. So that's something to strive for. Hmm, I'm being PK'd. I think I will drop these things so that I can keep my clue. <laughs> I forgot to dig to finish my clue, so I wonder. <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to, to dig to finish my clue step. Let's see if I can... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy the... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my bow and then turn on protect from item. I'm sure this time I brought my cash stack with me, surely. Okay, wait. Actually, what is this account, though? It's maxed. One Zuck KC. But they have the Major Arena 1 cape and... This is so weird. Before I do my birdhouse run and go to bed, just wanted to show all the loot I got from Zora today. I did 158 KC, which is probably the most KC I'll do in a single day in this video, so I figured it's worth showing. And this is all the stuff I got. Hey, we got a magic thing. Second unique of the video. Of course, we'll pop open the collection log to take a quick peek at things. In that last kill, I actually got three Zora uniques. I got the Zora Scales, the Magic Fang, and the Zora Teleports, because all three of those are technically Zora uniques. We got another 100 KC Zora milestone coming in with 3,300. Well, that's my last Zora for tonight, and in the morning, Varlamore comes out. Oh, look at that fresh login screen. Okay, let's go in and see what this is all about. No, I lost my achievement diary key. Oh, what is this? The messenger has a message. That's crazy. Uh, join me outside Varak's Eastern Gates. All right, that's where we're going after the birdhouse run. Looks like a champion scroll. Good news and bad news. The good news is that High Alk is back in its original spot. The bad news for some people, I mean, I personally don't really care. They combine. It looks like they combined the jewelry teleports all into one spell, so it moved everything else up. So if you're used to using like fire surge, now you have to get reused to it. Unless you have that, uh, I think there's a spell book reswap plugin thing. And on the topic of bad news, they added the Fortis Coliseum teleport to the Ring of Dueling all the way up here. So now all the other teleports, their numbers and letters are different if you're used to them. I don't think I ever use the numbers and letters though, I just memorize the location, just click on them. We've got a lot of things that have come with Varlamore. We got four new quests, which is five quest points. There's eight new music tracks. I think that's 28 new collection log slots. I'm seeing these stars here. We got Fortis Coliseum and then the Moons of Peril. Over here, we also got Hunter's Guild. Oh, a couple new pets as well. Ooh, it's the, the Quetzal. It reminds me of Wetzel's Pretzels. I mean, Quetzal. Are you ready for your first journey to Varlamore? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, someone just <laughs> said something to me. Oops. <laughs> wow. We made it. Oh, those are tall trees. Make sure to use the one with the flared base. We talked to this person to start Twilight's Promise. We have our own birds now. The bird looks so innocent. Look at them. <laughs> Do not harm my baby. And we got the quest done. So we can now use the teleport to the Fortis Center place and we can use 
the quetzals. The quetzals pretzels. Um, wait, don't look. Don't look at what? Wait, look. Wait, do you see behind you in real life? I'm I'm right behind you. Uh, what the heck? And, uh, oh, never mind. Actually, you can go back to the game. I, was, okay. I thought that there was something. So today, while everyone else is trying out the Colosseum and trying to be the first one to complete it with an all-caps YouTube title and making guides and all the new content, me and Spookdog are going to be exploring Varlamore, and I'm going to be making uh, like an Easter eggs type of video, which you would have already seen well before this video comes out. We got the... I don't even know... Are people just going to call this Fortis Teleport? I'm going to call it the Fortis Teleport. Let's see where this takes us. I imagine it takes us to Fortis. Oh, that's crazy. And then we got the... Uh, it's all transport system here. I've spent the whole day exploring Varlamor. I wasn't really even fishing all day. I've only been doing it for like an hour tonight. I spent my whole day pretty much just running around Varlamor and making this little side video, which has been a lot of fun. But I'm recording this clip because I just got a virtual level 109 fishing. So I was playing pickleball like four or five days ago and I ran into the gate. Like imagine something like this with that center bar thing being about chest high. My chest slammed into that thing and I'm pretty sure I bruised a rib. And if it is something with the rib, then I'm not sure if it's a bruise or a fracture or something else with it, but I'm American, so I'm not gonna find out. Anyways, around the same time, Spookdog got sick with a cold, which of course means that now I have a cold. And let me tell you, when you have an injured rib, sneezing becomes your worst nightmare. It's such a terrible, unfortunate combination of things to happen at the same time, but you know, it is what it is. So I basically spent the whole day today moping around AFK and Karambons, but I'm going to go back to Zora now, and I checked the rank 1 duo GIM Zora KC for individuals is still 3369, which means I'm exactly 50 kills away from tying that. So yeah, that is the plan from here. More Zora. Hey, a virtual range level 114, 57.5 million range XP. Hey, we got another unique. We got an Onyx. Has <laughs> Onyx number 13 on the account. Oh, <laughs> I just woke up today feeling uh, pretty bad, but <laughs> first kill of the day, we get a Surfacage. Good morning. That makes me feel much better. Visage number five. Whoa, another uh, another drop. This is on the KC to tie for rank one. One more KC for rank one. We're on Temple OSRS, two man GIM, unofficial high scores. Here's Zora, currently rank two. Refresh the page, rank one. I know this is such a niche thing that a lot of people don't care about, but for me, it gives me goals and like motivation to work towards KCs. Now, if we take off individual, this is for teams now. Uh, the rank one team has 36, 35 KC. Spookdog does not have any Zora KC, or I think she did just one for the diary. But um, that's another thing to strive for now is that KC. Although I don't think I'll be doing another 300 KC this video to get to that kind of rank one. I don't know, I want to try out all the Varlamore stuff, but because I'm sick, I don't feel like recording a lot, which I know is ironic because I'm recording a bunch right now. But most of my day is going to be spent sitting in silence killing Zora. Oh, I forgot I have the diary. <laughs> Yo. I haven't died it in so long in Zora that I, I forgot. I'm not trying to like brag or anything, but I haven't died in a while here. It looks like when the Western Diary perk revives you with Zora, you do lose your boosted stats. So I got reset back to 99 range. Two interesting things are happening here at the same time. The first thing is that it is 3,400 Zora KC. The second thing is my Serp Helm is has pretty much just now run out of charges on the 3400 kc at the start of the video i had fully recharged it up to 11k scales so we can determine how many zora kills you can get with the fully charged serp helm doing the method that i'm doing i started the video off with 2964 kc so that means i was able to do 436 zora kc with a fully charged Serp Helm, which also means I used on average 25.2 Zora scales per kill. And based on my stack of Zora scales now, which is 149K, uh, I started with 53K. So I gained 96K scales and 436KC, which means on average I gained 220 Zora scales. 
uh, not including the skills I'm about to use to charge it up. But math time is over, back to the boss. Bro, I got the drunken dwarf random, and he's t <laughs> he followed me pretty far into the Zora lair. Whoa, the shield left half. I was looking at the loot tracker, it's not even my first time getting it, I've gotten it once before. I was really close to 700 million total XP, so I decided to quickly get that here at the bank, so I didn't have to worry about recording while I was at Zora, and there we go, 700 mil. I was looking at my clips uh, for when I got 600 mil XP, and that was October 11th. Although the league did happen in the middle of that, but it was still a good like five months to get 100 million total XP. Oh, it took me a second to notice that. I got a jar of swamp. <laughs> that is my third jar of swamp if we take a look at the collection log. Those are one out of 3k. Whoa, another onyx. Wow, that's what, the third one of this video? By the way, I just came up with the goal. I'm gonna go to 3500kc before ending the video. And the final Zora of the video, 3500kc. That is 536kc done in this video. Uh, if you want to take a look at the loot tracker again, here you go. I'm pretty sure every single one of these onyxes did come from Zora. It's kind of funny because I'm, I think on every single account I've always gotten a bunch of onyxes proportionate to the other Zora drops. Next video, I'm gonna jump into Varlamore for real and just start trying out the content there. With that said, you can check out my Duo Teammate Spook Dogs channel linked below in the video description so you can keep up to date with her road to max. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.